As the security situation deteriorates in Tripoli, there are fewer places for families to go. As a result, more people are heading to the beach to break their day-long Ramadan fast and to escape the summer heat. Today, the weather is pleasant, so we decided to go on a trip to celebrate the month of Ramadan. Before the uprising, having iftar outside the home was not that common among Libyans, especially women. Today, we are celebrating this great gathering along one of Libya's beaches, Libya's beautiful coast. In the past few years, we did not go out because we were living a period that was filled with pain, struggle and exhaustion. For 42 years, we struggled. The Libyan government sent out a warning earlier this year that there could be power outages during Ramadan. This is after more than 100 rockets fired by militants knocked out Libya's Sarir power station. Power demand peaks in summer due to extensive use of air conditioners, often causing outages. Many areas are without power, so people move away and come towards areas that are under government control. In these spots, there are no power outages, so people come to these areas and break their fast on the beach. Libya's government continues to struggle with militia groups who have taken control of oil ports and oil fields. Carol Oyola, CCTV.